What is up guys? Today we have something a little different for you. As you're aware in my other videos I said the Optic 6 was having some issues. Uh, it was turning on and off and acting very strange. I took it down from the garden and uh, I will show you guys now what it's doing and it's kind of changed but I will show you how to fix it. So as you can see here we just plugged it in and everything turns on automatically. So you can tell the timer board is dead on this thing. Before all these smaller LEDs was not turning on and as you can see here there should be a light and it should be rotating and you this is the timer this is how you turn the uh, lights on and off this is the power board and nothing is lighting up so we know the issue is in the timer board so I messaged optic LED up and they sent right over this new uh, timer board so we're gonna have it plugged in and uh, show you guys how to fix it so and as you can see here it is a plug-in system so two plugins plug it in away she goes all right third all right first things first you're gonna need a screwdriver and I'm gonna take out the screws all around the side and pop open this top all right I just unscrewed all the screws here with the screwdriver and now we should be able to just pop this open so what we need to work on so what we need to work on is over on this side where the control panel is and this is the piece we need to take out and replace. So first thing we need to do is unplug all the attachments. So let's get to it. And I, I see there's three things you got to push down. Two on the side and one on the back. It should just pop right out. So it seems like you just apply a little force that way and it pops off these little hinges. There's two little white hinges at the top, two at the bottom I believe. I'm going to try my Leatherman tool and try to pinch these bottom ones because they're a little hard to get. Alright, there we go. Easily pops open. Nice way to just use a Leatherman. Pinch the tips and you should Pop right out. There we go, that blast one. So now this should come right out. There we go, now this should just come right out. And we pop off the top here. It goes in the top, uh, top left. Pop out this one here. Okay, and last we pop off this black one. So it's three pieces to pinch, slides right apart, and there we go. We have the old malfunction timer board out. Now just do the same thing in reverse, put the new one in. So when you're putting this in, make sure these two white little uh, socket slots are sticking upwards and uh, this is what you're going to be plugging into. Alright, so what I want to do first is plug all these things in. I think they gave us an extra cord and I don't know if we need it. So um, I'm just going to pop this out because I believe this white one goes into there. Just pop that out there and let's plug all these in before we uh, start messing around. So first one Right next, we'll do this white one. Plug this in. This just looks like okay, simple enough. This black one here. Okay, that looks all good. So you got to be really gentle when you're putting it in here. I uh, don't want to break any of these little knobs. Or... So yeah, you just got to be kind of gentle with it. Should just pop right in. There we go. Popped in. I'm going to take the white one here and attach it. All right. There we go. That is all fully installed now. So let's get this uh, lid back on. We're going to screw on everything and uh, we're going to turn it on and see if it works. All right, now that we have everything hooked up, we're going to plug it in and see how it works. So let's get right to it. Plug it in here. And oh. 
All right, so I figured out what the problem was, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see. Try to get in there. Okay, these here are the power uh, buttons. So these need to be precisely put into the power slots here. If not, you'll have what I just had, and it'll flick on and off, on and off, on and off, nonstop. So you really gotta make sure those are uh, perfectly in the dent here. So these are the two power switches here. So you really gotta be careful how you put them in. I just used my leather mitt and kinda put it over. It was on the angle, and now it seems to be all good. So we're gonna put the lid back on and try it again. All right, so I think now we have everything set up. We're gonna plug this in. And there we go. I think she is good as new. So let's turn it on to... So it seems everything is working now. The lights come on fine. Over here you can see the cop lights on, the five watts on, and the timer's on. So we can change the timer. Timer's working now, 24 hours. We can turn it off. So that works fine. Let's check the power buttons now. So turn the five watts on and off. Five watts off, five watts on. Let's do the cobs. There we go. She is good as new, guys. So that is how you fix a timer problem with an optic LED light. Pretty simple, takes 15, 20 minutes at tops. Uh, pretty simple stuff, you just pop it out unplug all the wires, plug in all the wires, and away she goes. Main thing to watch out for is the power buttons on the timer board. Make sure they're in the proper right spots or you'll get what I had, and it'll flick on and off, on and off, nonstop. Also, I would highly recommend getting a power surge protector for your lights. Um, it's just a safety precaution, so this kind of thing doesn't happen. My other lights were fine, but this one had some issues. So, just to be safe, I do recommend getting a power surge protector for your lights. So this is the first repair I've had to do with my LED lights. Pretty simple stuff. They send what you need in the mail. It's all plug and play kind of setup, so it's extremely easy to fix on your own. All DIY, so that's much better than having to send your light in to get it fixed, shipping it, paying for shipping and all that stuff. Way easier doing it this way. So hope you guys like this video, guys. Peace out, catch you guys later, and until next time, guys.